For medical workers on the front lines of this pandemic, going home to loved ones is not always an option. A Texas couple was driven to help. Maria Villarreal has the story. When you're fighting on the front lines, rest is often the last thing on your mind. Yannick Douglas Mattis is a nurse practitioner working with coronavirus patients in an Atlanta ICU. With a husband and three young children at home, two considered high risk, she wrestled with a very powerful fear. I called my husband. I said, like, I don't think I can come home. The babies, I think I could get them sick. That's when a friend told her about this Facebook page, RVs for MDs, a group that connects people in the medical profession needing to quarantine with someone who has a camper nearby for free. Hi, mommy. Hey, Erie. I'm given this opportunity to protect my family and i'm just I'm just grateful i am really filled with gratitude Hi guys. Hi. emily phillips a mother of three was the first to post a plea for help when you posted this online did you think anybody was going to respond no i i just thought maybe somebody might have a an rv or, or camper we were kind of in crisis mode so we just were throwing things out there and i got an immediate response emily's husband jason phillips is an er doctor in north texas I have a high chance of getting exposed, and I think my wife came up with the best solution. There are more than 22,000 people in the RVs for MDs group. So far, more than 200 matches have been made across the country. I read about the first emergency physician that has passed, and it, my stomach sank, and I'm like, we need this now. Dina Cretion turned to the group to find an RV for her husband, John, an ER physician that expects to quarantine soon. You can see the camper behind us. Tanya Sheets drove three hours to deliver her camper. How long could this last? We don't know. Until we know that he is safe and it's okay for us to go back to normal, whatever our normal may be again. Wow. The road to normalcy may be longer than most would like, but the journey just got a little bit smoother. Mireya Villarreal, CBS News, North Texas.